Hello everyone, this is Andrew and now we're going to discuss the two types of output of PLC. We have the relay and transistor. First thing that we need to do is to define the relay output and transistor output. For relay, the output polarity can be positive or negative depending on the wiring configuration. While the transistor is, output polarity is fixed. Sinking or NPN has negative output. Sourcing or PNP has a positive output. For relay output, let's say we have a positive common. When the relay is activated, the current will enter the common. and it will exit the PLC port and that makes our output positive next let's say our common is negative relay is activated the current will enter the PLC port and it will exit the common that will make Y0 negative and before we discuss about transistor output, let's have a little review about transistors. We have the NPN transistor and PNP transistor. For NPN and PNP transistor, we have three terminals. We have emitter, base, and collector. For NPN transistor, when transistor is activated, the current is allowed to flow from collector to emitter. And for PNP, when transistor is activated, the current is allowed to flow from emitter to collector. Now let's discuss transistor output. We have NPN or sinking. Output polarity is always negative. Common terminal is connected to negative. We have a negative common. When the transistor is activated, we have an NPN transistor. The current will enter the collector and it will exit to the emitter. And that will make our output negative. Next, we have PNP or sourcing. Output polarity is always positive. Common terminal is connected to positive. We have a positive common, transistor is activated, the current will enter the common and it will enter the emitter and it will exit to the collector and that will make our output positive. And there are some exemptions that you might encounter another type of PLC some PLC have both positive and negative but you just need to check if the output is NPN or PNP and for NPN you just need to supply the positive port and negative port and it will automatically release a negative signal to PLC output and it's the same with the PNP connection we just need to supply a 24 volts to our positive terminal and negative terminal and it will automatically release positive signal. Next, let's compare relay and transistor PLC output. For relay, it performs mechanical switching. For transistor, it performs electronic switching, which is a lot faster span than relay output. And why do we need to use transistor instead of relay? And why do we need to use relay instead of transistor? That's the question. For some application, relay is enough. Why do I need a very fast span? Let's have an example. We have this circuit. We need to control a servo motor 
and to control a servo drive we need to send a pulse and if we're going to send a pulse let's say a 500,000 pulse per second relay output transistor cannot uh, provide 500,000 pulse per second because it only performs a mechanical switching which is slow it means the circuit won't work but if we're going to use a transistor which performs electronic switching 500,000 pulse per second is possible and that's one of the advantages of using a transistor instead of using a relay next output polarity can be configured and transistor fixed output polarity for me the polarity of the output doesn't matter anymore for example we have this circuit let's say we need to change the load and let's say we have the control panel side and the field side when we are on the field side we cannot see the other circuit we only see two wire and we have some information about this wire that one of this wire is positive and the other is negative when we're dealing with DC load we know that one of the wire is positive and the other is negative and we also know that one of the wire is connected to PLC and the other is connected to power supply it means even if we don't know the configuration of the output as long as we know that one of the wire is positive and the other is negative and that is the requirement to energize the DC load that's enough and now the only thing that we need to do here is to know the polarity and to find out the polarity we can use a multimeter we can turn on Y0 using force command on the PLC and using a multimeter we can find the polarity of the wire then after finding the polarity of the wire we can turn off Y0 using force release then you can connect the wire now even if we don't know the configuration of the wire it doesn't matter anymore as long as one of the wire is positive and the other is negative next some of the relay output PLC is capable of producing AC voltage they just need to check the specification this is one of the advantage of using a relay and transistor can only use to produce a 24 volts DC and another thing relay is not affected by stored energy while the transistor is affected by stored energy for this one if the relay is closed the load will be energized and when we turn off the relay the load is deactivated but there's no way that the current can flow because it is totally disconnected because it is a mechanical switching while for transistor if the transistor is activated the load is energized but because transistor is using electronic switching it's still connected that's why stored energy will try to pull a current from the transistor and as time passes by the transistor might be damaged and that's it please subscribe to my youtube channel Please click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please uh, like and share my YouTube videos. And please like my Facebook page, the Gizgon Mechatronics Engineering Skills Tips, Tricks and Learning. And please click see first on Facebook to notify you for new posts. And uh, thank you again. See you next time.